All right, area five. Huh? I can sense our hey. target somewhere in this area. Well, in that case, welcome back, Twitch. Welcome back, YouTube. Let's get back to just another game. Persona 5 Royal, and it is episode for YouTube 101. First time I've ever gone to triple digits, I think, on a series. I was completely lost when I lit up my pre... Oh, gotcha. I'm kind of like that with um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Like, the combat's so complicated. I'm a little bit lost in it, but... I can see it. I have rolled so many good stuff, I don't want to start over. So, like... I need to either commit to starting a new game or having a dummy save on a dummy profile learning the combat all over again. And if I'm going to do that, I want to do that in a time when I'm actually going to sit down and concentrate on the RPG and really get the combat ingrained in my head so I don't, I don't forget how to do it again because the combat, combat's really complex in that game. Fun! But there are a lot of rules and a lot of mechanics you have to memorize. And they don't have a tutorial. Once you see it once, that's it. They don't have like a tutorial of reference, which is a, really a glaring over, over, uh, glaring flaw. Uh oh, we got Andros. Andrew, Uncle Andros! What level you on at? Uh, in Chronicles 2? I think I'm around level 20, 20 or 23. Can I run you over? Nope, I can get knocked on my ass. That's what I can do. Oh, and Mementos? Uh, I'll show you in a minute when we get out of here. By the way, Third Eye does tell you who you can run over. I did notice that. Let's go. I did notice that one of them turned green. And I was able to... Blue, green, whatever. I was able to run over them. Damn, that was strong. Go salt dove again. That was real solid. Okay, that didn't do us good. Huh. It's kind of disappointing. Okay. I think we're at like level five of the fifth area. I should have dormi it. Fine. We're fine. At this point. We pretty much out leveled it. What I needed. Okay, let's move on. Good enough. Hey, we got level thirty. Okay. This has been a real solid, <laughs> real solid uh, one for levels. Uh, Axiri Youth Area Five. Morgana is so much better than Teddy. You know, you say that, and I really love Morgana, but if you're gonna say that, I think you're gonna start a war with Lady, because she loves Teddy. Also, what was that? Ooh. Beat him up. 
I definitely Watch heard out. a boot. Hold on. Immune to nuclear, huh? Okay. Oh wait, no, immune, immune to nuclear? Huh? Weak to Psy. Persona! Oh, so Teddy didn't Joker. get rid of all my side skills. Go down! Teddy didn't- Oh, I thought you liked Teddy. Nice, Let's go. There. Teddy didn't even have stuffing. Right no sudden nice, move. Let's go. Okay, I guess I misunderstood. I thought you liked Teddy. My bad. Make a Shogun level okay. 32. <laughs> Teddy is fucking Child's annoying. Play. I have heard that. Hmm? Then. Let's head in. I think this should be our last target. Oh. So that's Nijima's shadow. Time to die. Oh, good. He looks so pathetic. He's cheating in a video game, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's a cheater. It's not something an adult should be doing. Yeah. Let's go. Fantastic. I'm glad I've had a chance to save then. Uh, yeah, that's our last one. <laughs> it's useless. Not the gun about world. No one can defeat me. Cheating, I don't know what you're talking about. The winners are the ones who are right. It's the winners who decide what justice is. What greater winner is there than me? I'm the god of the gun about world. I'm the god of the gun about world. I'm invincible. No one can ever hope to defeat me. No matter how many come against me, no one can ever wound me. Uh-oh. Idiot, let's get him. Valve Band is coming. <laughs> I'm strong! I'm the most powerful! I'm fucked, aren't I? Hey, no matter what you throw my way, you won't put a scratch on me! Love his voice. Persona! Hmm. It's time. Ready sure. Super, you missed. Eyes up, Panther. Stop Box, moving. You gotta aim. Unbeatable fight. All right, well. Super, you missed. Eyes up, Panther. Box, you gotta aim. Fucking cheater. Come on, Queen. Time. Stop you. Panther's on the ground. Are you okay? That's... Ose? Joker, you missed now. So I'm guessing I should not really spend any SP on Eyes this. Up, Fox, you gotta aim! Come on, Queen! <laughs> Watch Panther's health! Panther's in bad shape! Watch out! Do I even need to bother to heal? Do heal, okay. Never mind. It's <laughs> There's no way you can win against me! Look at him, acting all smug because of his cheats. We can't do anything to him at this rate, though. Let's retreat for now and rethink our approach. Dick. Well, we, uh, we definitely retreated. What the heck was that? Our attacks did nothing to him. Yes, unfortunately, it appears we do not have even a chance of victory. Yo, Morgana, ain't there anything we can do? Mm. I'm not sure. As I've already mentioned, the metaverse is a place where people's cognitions materialize. Even I can't predict what will happen in here. <laughs> uh, if only we could figure out what his ability is. He evades all incoming damage. Right, right. That's exactly right. So we'll need to figure out a way to break through his cheat. The Tower Arcanas need to beat him. Ah. Uh, so I've. Uh, so basically, I had to do that to unlock the tower icon, but I could not complete the request. That's fine, but let's do it somewhere else. It's not exactly what I'd call safe here. We should talk more when there aren't any shadows. Well... We can make it our homework then. Let us think more on this topic after we return to reality. 
All right, leave it to me. I'm very sorry. I hope it doesn't add too much work to your plate. Guess we gotta do it. Homework, I guess that works. Anyway, let's get going. Uh, do I want to go down and try to trigger a fusion alarm or am I kind of done with mementos for the moment? So let's see, where were we? One, two, three, four, yeah, fifth of the fifth area. Done, you think? All right. Yeah, we've been down here a while. All right, let's go. Let's head out, we got stuff to do. What do you want to do? Goodbye, flowers. we got to a nice deep waiting room. Uh, that's good enough. Ah, you're back. I'm back. What do we do about that cheater? Ain't we screwed if our attacks can't do anything? He is invincible at his game, so he's invincible in mementos as well. Then how about we just beat him at the game of his? Oh, but it'll just cheat. How about we ask for help from a skilled player? Supposedly, there's an insanely good gamer they call the king somewhere in the city. I've seen all over the forums how he managed to beat this cheater himself with orthodox m methods. For real? Where can we find him? I checked this account from the official server, but I couldn't pinpoint what arcade he goes to, sorry. But if he's really that famous, won't it be easy to find him? That's true. Okay, we should gather intel on the king at the arcades around the city. Akihabara. <laughs> RNG is not something I would try to manipulate. It doesn't seem to take very long. Really, to get an alarm fusion. We just don't seem to hold out because I don't go back to fuse all that frequently until I got something I really want to use for an uh, uh, alarm fusion. But it happens pretty quick. I didn't know if someone could get famous just by being good at a video game. In any case, we might be able to complete the request if we find this king. With his help, we'll crush that cheating jerk for sure. So bored. What are you talking about? Analyze that data. My PC's doing all the work. That leaves me with nothing. <laughs> we are preparing for our school trips. None of us have the time to entertain you right now. Oh shoot, I need to go shopping. All we need is a toothbrush, right? What are you panicking for? There's a lot I need. Shampoos, lotions, conditioners. Ah, oh, that reminds me, I should pack a canvas. This trip will be a prime painting opportunity. Will one be enough, though? That's more than enough. Now I should bring three. Inspiration may strike at any moment in time. Now regarding canvas size, bigger is better, yes? What are you asking us for? What I mean is, you shouldn't take shit like that with you. <sighs> Being able to talk to each other openly like that might be nice. Are oh, you going to bed, lady? All right, I was just about to call the service. Oh, I, not gonna let me, huh? Well, damn. Uh, in that case, let's go watch a movie. Can't even call to have my teacher over. How rude. Uh, no, I don't want to sit down. I don't want to sit down. I want to, I want to see how I am on uh, materials. Permapick. Jeez, I need nine more liquid mercuries. I think you need to talk to her at school. But they said call her to my room. I guess I could try. Does the request tell you what you have to do? Or maybe the confident? Let's get the confident first. No. Special massage. Huh. Okay. All right, watch a movie. Oh. Watch DVD, watch at the ICU. This man is a convicted criminal, yet you want to save him? His guilt or innocence is for the courts to decide. My only concern is that he lives long enough to get there. It's a story about the daily struggles of doctors working in an emergency ward. 
you think so, but apparently not. Wow. I like this guy. A person's life is valuable no matter what they've done. Yep. No matter the circumstances, those doctors never gave up. Maybe you learned a thing or two about kindness from watching this drama. Mm -hmm. I think I did. Rank up. All right. Your kindness has increased from empathic to selfless. Which means I have oh. to get to rank five kindness. Unless they're Dexter. I have to get to rank five kindness to continue Sojiro. Oh, Christ. That's brutal. We're bringing you today's discovery, town detectives, all the way from Yuno. Yuno. Many art pieces are being presented at this museum. Well, you know, it's a place rich with art. But Fataba should be available. We may come upon an artwork that changes our values. If you want to take in art, this is the place to go. There's an art museum in Ueno. Maybe I should ask someone to go there with me sometimes. This is the first fucking time we've heard about a hangout spot on the TV. A district packed with cultural sites like museums, temples, and a zoo. Get cultured in art. Many famous paintings and sculptors can be found at these art museums. All right. So, you know, Yusuke. <laughs> a new hangout place for Yusuke. That's wild! The Phantom Thieves have been so popular lately. What's the fan site? Ooh, they have new merch! Oh god, why? Why do we have merch? Phantom Thieves. The Phantom Thieves are amazing. I mean, even the harshest TV commentators are praising them. A lot of celebrities are talking openly about the Phantom Thieves. Phantom Thieves fight for the people. Anyone opposed to them is just behind the times. Just look at that a catchy kid. He's catching a ton of shit for what happened with Medjid. Justice can't exist so long as the Phantom Thieves do. Big talk from someone who can't even catch them. Even politicians are claiming the Phantom Thieves are dangerous. They're all full of hot air, though. The Phantom Thieves are totally trustworthy. Yeah, I do need to get... Knowledge might be on its way. I need... Proficiency is pretty far behind. There's lots of opportunity for small knowledge gains, but I've not been working on my proficiency. I don't get it. Everyone knows about the cover-up. It's not really a big deal anymore. You know what is a big deal? My gun about rank going up. Gun about the super reel? That's the one with the gun-shaped controller, right? Everyone's talking about it. The multiplayer's so good. The arcade on Central Street has it, as does the one in Akihaba Akihabara. You should give it a try sometime. I played against someone really good the other day. I couldn't land a single shot on them. Hmm. I wonder why that would come up. Yep. All anyone talks about anymore is the Phantom Thieves. I kind of miss when no one knew who we were. Make up your mind. Phantom Thieves merchandise. Hey, how are you doing? Uh... I do need to talk to you because I need to rank up, but I am curious. Yeah, no, counselor, I just want to see. Where the... I guess I do have to call her to my room. Because she's not here. Hi, how have you been? If you don't mind, could I ask some of your time? It won't take long, so just feel free to stop by. I feel like Ikibu can become closer with Maruki thanks to the counselor persona, Dekarabia. Let's go. Go see him. Thank you, I'm glad to hear it. Well, I'll meet you in the nurse's office then. Now. Yay! Well, today's just gonna be another back and forth as usual. Or will it? Today's your lucky day. Please, take a look at what's on this table. Snacks? I've been making you listen to all this tough stuff about traumas, pain, and grief lately, so... I found these cookies in an underground mall. Now we can have a little break. They're kind of fancy cookies, too. They're drugs, aren't they? They're filled with drugs. I thought I'd get a surprise for you since you've been kind enough to indulge me all this time. Go ahead, enjoy. This looks great. 
Come on, don't be shy. I've got enough for seconds, too. I love snacks! Oh, yes. Oh, I know. As long as we're talking about cookies, they actually reminded me about the psychological experiment. The scientists... The scientists prepared two containers and put the same kind of cookies in both of them. In one container, they put only one cookie, but the other one was filled with cookies, ten of them. Drugs, 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 drugs. So then they had their subjects try cookies from each container and ask how their tastes compared. Which container's cookies were marked as tasting better? Any guesses? Technically, it's six through nine, since if you can get up to nine, you get ten automatically. If I remember right. You get 10 as part of the story as long as you meet the deadline. Um, the one cookie container. Right. Correct. Easy to guess, huh? There's something called the law of scarcity. It's about what you'd imagine from the name. People are drawn to things that are more scarce. You can see this law in action just by observing how excited people get over limited edition merchandise. Shut up. I feel fucking attacked. <laughs> you know, you're right. I know, right? Don't you think it's really fascinating? Shut up, Nick. In becoming aware of scarcity, we trigger our own desires and cause a change in our cognition. Not only that, the effect spreads to our senses and creates a subjective, observable difference in our reality. Basically, your perceptions can be changed by your cogni cognition or preconceptions. <laughs> it's all below the conscious level, but it's really incredible. <laughs> Incidentally, now that you've heard that story, how do you feel about the idea that your unconscious desires may have changed the taste of the cookie? As long as it tastes good. That's definitely not the usual response, but it's one I can understand. It probably sounds like an exaggeration, but something about that seems so beautiful to me. Maybe the human heart can falter or be unreliable sometimes. Play as an item shopkeeper. Shut up. <laughs> Rain told you, didn't she? She told you. But if this experiment proves anything, it's that even a simple preconception can be enough to bring someone more joy. For example... Take that story I just told you. What if you'd eaten that one cookie and it had been the best cookie of your life? Say I never revealed the trick behind it. That cookie would have remained more delicious than usual. It would have been a subjective truth of your reality. Uh, I guess so. Right, I'm glad to hear you say that. Basically, what I wanted to say was... If this idea of preconception could be studied further and actually apply to treating people, I feel like it could help a lot of people, maybe even more than I could help through counseling. Then again, it relies so heavily on perspective. Some people might call it a lie or see it as running from problems. Still, even if that's true, I believe that method could save a lot of people. Sorry! Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. We wound up getting into an academic conversation after all. I really need to watch myself. Whenever I'm talking to you, somehow I always end up going back to my research. I am truly grateful for everything you've done, not just because I can get your opinion on these things either. It's more like as if I'm talking to an old friend. <laughs> but maybe that's too personal. After all, this is all for the sake of our deal, right? So we say anyway. Strong bond of friendship. I would have bought the I would have bought the the skateboard decks even if they weren't limited because they're really cute skateboard decks. I would have bought them even if there were more than 300, which honestly they probably should be. Confident Takuki Takoto Maruki, the counselor arcana rank five. Mindfulness, chance to restore Joker's SP when it is low. All right. Your counselor confident has increased to rank five. You'll now earn more XP from arcana bursts and fusing personas of the counselor arcana. Maruki taught you how to pr practice mindfulness. Now then, I better show you another way to mentally train yourself. What I'm going to teach you today is... I think it's amazing that people are already trying to sell those deck, the pre-order for those skateboard decks for like $500 to $1,000. That's fucking insane. Thanks to Maruki's mental training, my mind feels stronger. All right. Oh, in here! Never a bad time for a snack, right? 
Don't not worry. I like the name. Well, see you. Make sure you get home before it gets too dark, okay? Snacks. Oh, this is Maruki. Sorry about it earlier. It was supposed to be a chance for us to relax, but it ended up being another big academic discussion. Did I, did I even get the fucking cookies? I got a donut. Did I get the cookies? It was thought-provoking. Really? Wow, I'm so happy to hear that. I've always been like this. I get so hyper-focused on my research, I don't notice anything else. Back when I was a student, people kept warning me about that. There I go rambling again. Sorry, sorry. Alright, see you again soon. Hey. Futaba mentioned you guys were going on a school trip later this week. God damn it, internet crashed. Boo. I'm not giving you any money, okay? Don't worry about getting me a souvenir or anything like that. Uh, we talked about cookies with Maruki. And Nick, uh, gave me shit. I get your souvenir anyway. No, no article worthy news. Oh. Are you gonna call Kawakami? Let's call the service. Listen. Hey, listen, something unbelievable just happened. I'm still in shock. I don't know where to start explaining. There's other stuff I wanna ask you about too. You'll, requ you'll request me today, right? I feel like my bond with Kawakami will grow stronger. It'll cost you 5,000 yen, but are you gonna call her over? Nah, that's fine. All right, we'll call her over. Oh no, 5,000 yen. Thanks. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll be right over, so hold on. Hey there. I'm so glad you requested me. I have big news. Takasa-kun's guardians came to my house today and apologized to me. They told me I won't have to send any more money and that they'll return everything I paid them. It's like they're completely different people. Like what happened with Mr. Kamashita. Hey, you wouldn't be, um... Anyway, it's such a relief. They apologized about Takasa-kun and admitted that what they did was terrible. They even told me that I am a good teacher. And so I decided to really quit my part-time maid job today. I've been talking to my boss about it ever since I was hospitalized. It took a while to work out who would cover my shifts. I didn't want to inconvenience anyone. Well... Now I can finally make a fresh start as a teacher. I can take care of my students and earn their trust. That's the ideal, te ideal teacher I aspire to become. I bet I'll be an old woman by the time I achieve my dreams. Nonsense. You're right, I'm still within the demographic age range of what's considered young. I was always able to rely on you, Master. You helped me come to a lot of realizations because you were such a good listener. That's because I'm a silent protagonist, I can't talk. Thanks again. Oh crap. Thank you for using our service. <laughs> the face. Today marks the day I graduate from being your maid. Uh, thank you for your service. Thank you for your hard work as a master. I feel a deepened connection with Kawakami. Sado Kawa Sadayo Kawakami, the Temperance Arcana, rank 9. All right. Your Temperance Confident has increased to rank 9. You will now earn more XP from Arcana Burst and Fusing Personas of the Temperance Arcana. So, um... At any rate, what are you going to do once I stop coming here? Can you handle the cleaning on your own? I'm pretty worried about the state this place is in. I feel like you don't put much thought into your diet either. Besides, won't you be lonely, hmm? Uh... <laughs> are we going to romance the teacher? I feel like this is the point when we're going to romance the teacher. Even though I wasn't warned, I think this is probably the point where I'm going to romance the teacher. Nick says just do it. 
I want to keep seeing you. I take it you get lonely easily? But you shouldn't say, you shouldn't say stuff like that so casually, okay? Some women may misunderstand your intentions. I should choose my words carefully. I'm already in a relationship with another girl. You don't want to give anybody the wrong idea. That could really hurt someone. I mean what I say. Do you understand what you're saying? This situation isn't normal. I'm a teacher and you're my student, you know. <laughs> I don't know which one it is, actually. I think it's this one. What? Hold on. Wait, so, what? No way. Um, that's not what I mean by no way, but what? Um, okay, 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 okay. Time! I need more time! I mean, you're both a student and a master while I'm a teacher and a maid. This doesn't make sense. Right? Let's save this discussion for next time, okay? The response was delayed. Well... I'm gonna head back home now. I think that was right. <laughs> I wonder how much longer this heat will continue. It's exhausting. You know the rankings that are popular nowadays. Sweet. Perfect. Are you interested in them too? <laughs> I'm gonna get my ass kicked. I'm gonna get my ass kicked, aren't I? Well, that was programmed that way, the branch has law. Your arm is now too. Uh, of course. <laughs> I don't blame you. Everyone's paying attention to it. To be fair, it's gonna be funny as shit. I, I am ready for it. Did you know my name is listed too? It's apparently due to my recent disapproval of the group. Before I knew it, I turned into a bona fide villain. Still, I thought that if I became a target, I could figure out their methods. The idea was appealing when I thought about it. Oh, I'm not- no. Of course, there's no guarantee I'd be safe. Your parents are gonna murder you. No, Fatava is not for date. Fatava is for protect. She's way too dependent on Joker. Well, talking anymore will make us late. See you later. the news uh, you can date Fataba, but honestly uh, this is gonna seem really weird with like you know the fact that I'm dating two adult women at the moment but I would feel really 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 bad dating Fataba. she's not socially adjusted and she's very dependent on Joker that would feel very strange Check out this Phantom Thieves chocolate wafer. I saw it in Shibuya and couldn't help myself. <laughs> Fataba. It comes with a sticker, right? There's so much Phantom Thieves merchandise all of a sudden. Although, if you ask me, Phantom Thieves isn't a really cool name. I don't know. I like it. It's so mysterious. Such would definitely kick your ass. I would lose my house. I'd probably lose my cat. <laughs> I'd lose my Atari, I think. I think that's what I got. You think it's a bad idea to post my own name to the fan site to get a change of heart? Maybe he likes it. I mean, I have seen, like, obviously people draw comics, and I have seen, like, Sojiro's... People are going, like, Sojiro would think uh, it's very cute if Joker dates Futaba and all that. Also, max out Kawakami if you can before Hawaii if you can. I will try. I just want to meet the Phantom Thieves. Um, walking behind you. Okay, let's get started. The school trip's tomorrow, huh? I always get so excited the night before my trips. You leave tomorrow, right? It'll take six or seven hours to get to Hawaii, so it'll be morning when you arrive. Oh yeah, watch out for that jet lag. Hawaii's time is 19 hours behind Japan's time zone. 
Wait, is it? Because I thought... Because I have to keep my eye on the time in Japan for some of my orders. I thought it was 14 hours behind. Huh. Other side of the dateline. I guess that's... Okay, alright. I guess that makes sense. Which means you'll get there on the morning of the 7th. You're leaving at night, but arriving in the morning of the 7th, that might be quite a shock to your system. Jet lag is one thing, but our perception of time itself can be distorted sometimes. Have you ever looked at your watch and felt like the second hand stopped for longer than a second? How about you? Say. Do you know the name of the phenomenon where the second hand looks like it stopped moving? Uh, yeah, it's actually called chronostasis. You know, time stop. This one's easy to figure out even if you don't know it. This is it. Right. Yeah, that's correct. You see... When a person changes their viewpoint, there's a moment of time that goes unaccounted for in their mind. In order to fill in that blank, the brain experiences a fictional moment. That's where this phenomenon comes from. The human brain really is incredible, right? It can make you feel like time has stopped. Why do the people still think I'm a criminal nice and a punk? Going. I've been here for like six months. Oh, but my time's already up. Well, see I want to you. hear all your stories when you get back, okay? Have fun. <sighs> You're going to Hawaii tomorrow, huh? Don't worry about the house. Oh, uh, well, me and Fataba can hold down the fort. You can sit on her lap. Actually, she kind of sits funny, so you probably can't. Oh yeah, this time tomorrow we're gonna be in Hawaii. Can't wait. Uh... Should be f You have your time wrong. Sad Morgana. Yeah, I'm feeling bad for Morgana. I feel bad for Morgana ever since he didn't get sushi. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, we'll still be in Japan at that point. Ryuji, you know you're not leaving until tomorrow night, right? Wait, for real? Enough of the chit chat. You should be concentrating on class. I don't. Th I think Morgana would probably throw up in my bag. Also, Morgana would have to sneak in the bag that would be carried on, because I think they would. I think uh, outside the cabin, the luggage is basically in a near vacuum, or at least it's not. It's going to be super cold, like deathly cold. I don't care about that. After what I just heard, I'm totally out of motivation to work. Sounds like business as usual. Well, time to research sightseeing spots in, in Hawaii. You got over that pretty damn fast. Oh yeah, are there any famous places in- Yeah, there are! Just a few. Hollywood! It has a vibrant art scene as well. I expect the trip will prove quite stimulating. Four to six weeks. Quarantine for pets to- yeah, Wow, that makes sense. They don't know the candle to Hawaii's beaches, though. There are a multitude, multitude of fabulous beaches near Los Angeles as well, you know. They're all fucking cold. Holy shit, they are frigid. I hate Los Angeles beaches. But hey, I hate the Pacific Ocean. Huh? It's close to the ocean? Do you know where LA is? Well, it's in the capital of America, so in the middle some... What about Hawaii? I don't know, some ocean, I guess? You're hopeless. How long are you all going to keep this up? <sighs> Come on, can't you guys be more mature about this? The Pacific Ocean sucks. Do you know the answer? Uh, growing up from, growing up in Texas when the nearest body, major body of water was the Gulf, which is like bath water warm. When I went to the beach in Los Angeles, it was so fucking cold I couldn't even get in there for like more than, I don't know, two or three minutes. I had to spend, basically spent all the time on the beach instead of in the water. And we went to a beach up in the mountains for some reason? So, the beach was full of gravel, as well as sand. So, it was like the most miserable fucking experience of my life. Uh, as far as beach-related experiences. Now, when I went to Hawaii, that was far enough south from the, um, from the Alaskan current where it wasn't as cold, so it was actually nice to be in the water down there. But, God, 
Los Angeles beaches are awful. I can only imagine how bad Washington beaches are. God, they gotta be freezing. You gotta use a wetsuit or something. I mean, at one point, DC was in the middle of the country, yeah. For a very brief time, yes. I saw a lot of errors on the previous test, so please be more careful in the future. Hey! Excuse me, no sleeping in class. Today's examples will be on your entrance exam, so make sure you know them. What's up with Kawakami? She usually looks so tired. I talked to her this morning about my future, and she was super polite. Friendly, even. Yeah, I know what you mean. She even gave me advice about my girlfriend. Yes. Now that she's back on her feet, Kawakami seems to be working hard as a teacher. I know you guys are excited for the trip, but you're getting a little carried away. Check it out, Phantom Thieves merchandise! Alright. Uh... Oh! I can go rank up again with Maruki. I should do that. Gamer King, okay. 56 degrees in the hot time of year. Yeah, when we went out on the boat, you can feel the change in temperature. And Dad's like, I'm gonna teach you like the 5-5-15 rule or something like that. Or, or the 5-15-50 something. Basically how much time you can spend in water at this temperature before you go into shock and drown. Shouldn't be able to. Oh, we can go look, I guess. There's no harm in it. We'll go see if the gate's there. Right, where is he? Is he in the other building? Yes, he is. So, Gamer King. Alright, let's see. Welcome. Hey, good work today. Sorry, Autumn, you'd expect it to get a little less hot, huh? Ah, yes. Thanks to you, my research has been going so well. Really, you've been such a huge help. I'm sorry. All this progress in my research has made me really busy, so our deal might have to wait for now. I'll definitely want to talk later when I got some more time. Alright, so there we go, we verified the gate. Um... Should I go to the teacher's classroom real quick? Uh, the... The faculty office? Akihabara. <laughs> Let me check the faculty office real quick. Principal's office. Faculty. Alright, we can't go there. Alright! Go to Electric Town. You can now quick travel to the game center in Akihabara. <laughs> Who's that kid? He's amazing. That's the king. I uh, heard about him. He's just a little guy, huh? Must still be in grade school. He's dual wielding? Yeah, he's playing two opponents all by himself. And it's still too easy for him. Well, I guess that's that. What a monster. The king may have some, te some tips on how to defeat the cheater. I need that hoodie. I should negotiate with him. Hey kid, you want to negotiate with uh, a stranger? <laughs> Let's play a game. Nah, sounds like too much work. Don't take it personally, I'll turn everyone down. Later. There's an invincible player. Invincible, huh? You mean the guy who cheats, right? It really makes me mad when he does that. I don't care. But I can still beat him, so I don't really care. Just forget about him. 
Um, he's bothering someone? Uh-huh. You sound like the Phantom Thieves. So you're saying you want to beat the cheater? You seem like a nice guy, but just let it go. The Phantom Thieves are really cool, aren't they? Are you a fan too? Have you ever met them? I saw their first success. <laughs> oh, you mean at Shujin Academy? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Get smoked. But, um, teaching you how to play Gunabout won't be easy. And I won't get anything out of it. Uh, let's make a deal. Jeez, you're really persistent. I'm just a grade schooler, you know? How about this? I want to get to know the Phantom Thieves. What is this? Developed by the Japanese Doge. Oh god, my eyes are blurring. Dojin Maker, easy game station for the Windows operating system. The game follows a young man who is charged with a fairy tier to run an item shop. Oh, that's the one you were talking about. That's the game you were talking about. It's probably impossible, but if you can help me do that, then I'll teach you how to play. What do you say? Is it a deal? Let's do it. Huh? Whoa, seriously? Well, if you want to really, if you really want to that much, then... Phew. I thought for a second you were just going to give up. Wow, I didn't see this coming. But the Phantom Thieves hide their true identities, right? Are you sure I can get to know them? I'll introduce you to them. Huh? You're gonna tell them my name? My name's Shinya Oda. Hey! Tell the Phantom Thieves my name and have them post it somewhere only they'd be able to access. That'll be good enough as an autograph and proof that they know my name. <sighs> proof you know the Phantom Thieves, huh? We need something credible for this kid to believe us. Didn't Futaba say she hacked into Gunabout's server or something? Let's discuss this with Futaba. She might have a good idea. Alright. To the Futabas. Damn you, Maruki. We could do more research. To the Futabas. Okay. Oops, I went to the hideout. I didn't want to go there. Everyone's here. Leave. Everyone bail. Why do you just hang out here? All right. You found the king? No surprise there. So did he tell you how to take down the cheater? No. He wants us to on one condition. He wants us to introduce... He's going to on one condition. He wants us to introduce him to the Phantom Thieves. We can't just give, us, give ourselves away though. That's where you come in. Maybe you could hack into the gun about server and do something? Hmm? But we won't be able to get in touch with him that way. We could send them a calling card. What are we gonna steal? Oh yeah. Well, how about the homepage? I already hacked into it, so it's as good as stolen. Hmm. Okay. I'll write a calling card saying we're going to steal the gun about homepage. After that, you'll need to leave ev evidence that the Phantom Thieves hacked into it. The king will have no choice but to believe it was really us. Hmm. Ooh, this sounds like fun. I'll go put our logo smack dab in the top of the mid of the front page. Perfect. Well, we'll go see the king. Oh, and we'll let you know before we talk to him, so wait for our word to start the hacking. All right. You can count on me. All right. Back to the thing. To the arcade. Where am I? There I am. Hey, would you like to see a hacker? Hey. The fake calling card is ready for use. Should we ask Fidaba to do the hacking? Contact her. I'm ready whenever. Go ahead. It'll be fine. Leave it to me. Okay, I'm hacking in now. Any progress with the Phantom Thieves? Maybe a little. Calling card? Huh? Ah, there's something written on it. 
Thanks for your support. Please help those in need. This is a promise to you from the Phantom Thieves. We're going to post a secret message just for you on the game's official website. Oh, is, is this for real? I mean, you can probably just buy one of these cards at the store. The official Gunabout website? Whoa! The Mark of the Phantom Thieves! They hacked the site! Whoa! The Mark of the Phantom Thieves! They committed a crime for me! Just like they did on Midget's site! Which means... You were able to contact the real Phantom Thieves! No way! How'd you do it? Well, I talked to you, and then I talked to them, and that's how it happened. Uh, through a secret exchange. Oh, that's so cool! So they want to remain anonymous. Wow, I can't believe they sent me a message. Yes! Totally for you! <laughs> I wasn't expecting much from you, but you're actually pretty cool. I wish I was able to talk with them or something, though. But you fulfilled your part of the deal, so I'll teach you how to shoot. Once you stop them from moving, you gotta hit their weak point right away. You should be able to inflict a lot of damage to the cheater this way. Oh, okay. Let's get started. Just like normal. I see. Come on, you gotta aim. Oh, no, no, you're just stopping their movement by Gun doing skills. that. Ugh, no, not like that. Are you taking this seriously? You gotta focus on your second shot. He's almost like a different person when he gets mad. His instructions are precise, but also Spartan-like. The king's swearing up a storm today. That's what happens when he teams up with another player. And why everyone also watches him from a distance. <laughs> Alright, looks like you kind of got the hang of it. I think you'll be able to beat that cheater now. I have a bad habit of swearing when I get all worked up. It's kind of adorable with your voice. Sorry. But I think you have a lot of potential. More than most people. You'd be surprised how often I use a gun. If you want, I can teach you a few other moves too. I have the ultimate trump card. So tell me more about the Phantom Thieves. Uh, it's a deal. I've made a deal with Shinya. According to the reports, it seems your skill at handling a gun is quite impressive. Why swearing? I feel like... Also his hat is a meme. Uh, I feel like his... He would be hilarious. Hearing him swear in that voice would be hilarious. So yeah, we dragged this kid into our crimes. Great! Either you taught yourself, or you had a capable coach by your side. He's 12. <laughs> Where did you learn how to handle a gun? Would you believe a 12 year old? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the tower persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. The Confidant Skilled Gamer of the Tower Arcana Rank 1. Down shot allows you to knock down an enemy with a special shot once per infiltration. Wow. Once per infiltration. Okay. All right. You've unlocked the Tower Confidant. Using personas of the Tower Arcana will now grant you XP due to Arcana Burst. Shinya taught you how to use down shot. earlier than usual today. Uh, you said his hat is a meme? He's got noob plastered across his jacket, too. Raven. 
Say, or noobs. The noobs! I guess that's his team name or something. <laughs> I don't know. Interacting with Shinya has made my heart grow. I feel like my kindness has increased. Wow, that's a big kindness increase. I will get to Angelic sometime in the year. Hey! I'm so glad I caught you. Hey, we should exchange IDs. It's not like I'm here every day, so... Sure. Cool. I guess I should say, call me when it's game time. There, got it. I'll hit you up when I have time to train you in gun about. Bye. See you later. Yeah, feels like, uh... That's almost not worth it. I guess, depending on who you're going against. We will be parting ways tomorrow. I pray both trips go safely. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Yusuke. And Futaba will be relying on you for the analysis. Leave it to me. Just let us know if anything comes up, okay? True, forced negotiation. It would that have been great maybe against Anubis. Hey, okay Then off we go. Look after Morgana for us. Have a nice trip. You guys are still talking about that trip? All right. What can I do? I can't do anything on my last day. Uh, I think we're going to have to do a save here. I'll go for maybe an hour more. YouTube, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me. I, I don't think I can. Usually when... Yeah. See? Well, let me... Stupid cat. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the song, let me know. Give me likes and comments. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Twitch will continue for about an hour or more.